Like a lot of Romanian cooking, the curly pie is simple, unpretentious, wholesome food. First off, sparkling mineral water. The sparkles work a bit like baking powder, giving the dough a lighter texture. Two tablespoons of oil. The oil gives you the stretch. Now to the oil and water, add some salt. And as I add flour to the water, it will begin life as a batter, but with the wonder that is baking, it will become a dough. A deer, a female deer, hooray, a drop, a drop of golden sun. sun. Hun, hun, hun. And this dough needs kneading, because what you do then is you release the gluten in the flour, which makes the pastry really stretchy, like samosa pastry, so we can roll it really, really thin. And believe me, we need this thin. Whoa, over to you, Tarzan. Ooh, it's nice, actually. And just knead away, single hand or double handed method, whichever way you fancy, depending on how big your balls are of dough. I roll this out as thin as you can get it. You want it thin enough to read a newspaper through. Thinner than Kate Moss on a fast. Bob's your uncle. It's magic! Now, for this bit, you can use whatever round template of choice. Now, the traditional filling for this is sheep's cheese and spring onion. It's like a lot of kind of Eastern European foods. Actually, the recipes and the contents are quite frugal. Traditionally, some sheep's cheese wrapped in a sheep's bladder. You don't get cheese like that, oh dear. No. But there are plenty of substitutes. A good old Greek feta will do the trick. That's crumbly. Oh, that's fabulous. You kind of sprinkle it onto the pie. So with these fabulous fresh spring onions, now it's time to put the curl in your pie. So it's dead easy, just take one side over like that. And say, use that perimeter of your template. Transfer your curly pie to the dish, like so. Oh, lush. Now you top this off with a mixture of eggs and yoghurt. And you just splodge this on. When we say splodge, we mean splodge. Are you a bit of a splodger, Kingy? and just pop this into a preheated oven about 180 to 200 degrees Celsius for about half an hour until golden brown. While you're doing that, mate, I'm yep. going to crack on with a variety of fillings. Now, if you don't fancy going rustic, go and knock yourself out at your local deli. Fancy charcuterie, fine cheeses and exotic mushrooms can all be used here. The world is your oyster when it comes to curly pie. But even though we're using such fancy ingredients, it's still a good frugal dish. Because when it comes to filling a curly pie, a little goes a long way. This wonderful curly pie exterior doesn't give up the secret of its tasty filling until you sink it.